Now we're going to teach you a, a special operator. You use it for booleans, but you can use it for numbers as well. But I want to use it for booleans because it's the most common operator used with booleans. So we're going to print true. And you know what print true looks like. It prints out true to the screen. So far, so good. You can also do the same with false. It's either true or it's false. There is no in between. However, you can also go equal, equal. Now, this operator expects some kind of Boolean-esque thing. It, another word to think of it is, is it truthy or falsy, right? And you can put a lot of things on the left and right of this guy that aren't just Booleans. They could be like strings or function return values. We'll cover the advanced use cases of this. But notice that instead of equal, we're not setting true equal to true. We're saying does true equal true. And so let me show you an example. This is if you've taken philosophy, any type of predicate logic, you know what this means. True equals true. So far, it's true, right? Say it out loud because it's weird. Does true equal false? Think of it as asking a question. Equal equal is asking a question. True does not equal false. False. Fantastic. Does false equal false? Well, yes, it does. Fantastic. It's true. So a negative equals a negative? Well, yes. Yes, it does. And so you can do the same thing with numbers. So does one equal one? And notice I left out the space because I'm in a hurry, and that's okay. You can make messy. Lua knows what you meant. So one equals one. Fantastic. And if you're really interested, if you're a number nerd, math nerd, you can say, does 1.0 equal the whole number of one? Yeah, it does because they're basically the same thing. Cool. So it's got basic integer math in there. And you can also do the same thing with strings. Does cow equal cow? Yes, cow equals cow. I guarantee it. True. And notice that it's strict with strings. So you could say, does lowercase cow equal uppercase cow? Those result to two different numerical values. So, nope, false. It does not. So if you're checking for somebody's name or if your weapons have names, if you're trying to see if the weapon equals, you can do a lot of things. So equals equals is very valuable. And it, again, I started with Booleans because I want you to think equal equals kind of trying to ask a question. Does this thing equal another thing? Booleans are the most common thing you use, but you can use it with numbers and strings and something like that. You don't often use it with tables unless you're trying to do reference checking. So when people say Boolean equality, that's what they mean. They mean this is a Boolean and does it equal the other thing? Yes or no, right? Let me know. That's what they mean by Booleans or equality. This is the equality operator.